Hey everyone, I'm your host Marcus Norman of the Gentleman Style Podcast Show. Today you all are in for a treat. We are going to talk about something that is on every parent's mind. And that's colleges, right? Where our children are getting older and they're about to make the biggest decision of their lives. And who better that I have here to bring to the stage to help us, to help you, help me get our children and transition them off to their future, starting off with the colleges of their dreams. You won't want to miss one second of this superstar guest that I have come into the stage. Here we go. everyone it's marcus norman of gentleman style podcast show and today i have alex boylan this man is the man to help us transition our families our loved ones off to the college of their dreams but first this man has done some incredible work in numerous industries after winning cbs's amazing race at the young young age at 23 and my god this guy still looks 23 yeah, that baby face. Mr. Alex has gone off to have an amazing career in both in front and behind the camera. Alex is an adventurer, world traveler, and storyteller. He's been on numerous networks, PBS, CBS, as a national ambassador for two summers on the CBS Buzz Tour. He's hosted over 100 segments for the Travel Channel with Rako Ray's sidekick hosting Rack to the Rescue. Mr. Alex's newfound passion today is for producing, but he's on a special mission to help you, our children, get to college. But it's so much information, it's so much data. But he's here to help us break through that barrier with his new platform. His latest venture is his, his testament to love, the college tour. Help me welcome to the stage the incredible Alex Boylan. Welcome to Gentleman Marcus. Style Podcast Show. Good to be here. Thank you for that amazing intro, Marcus. Absolutely. You did all the work, sir. I did. Man, you've had an incredible career. Man, it's been a roller coaster. How did you, when did you get the bug to, to really take off? How did you get the courage to do the amazing race? We've all watched that show. That was powerful. When did you? When did you know? It's like, I can do this. Uh, you know, it, that's a really good question. And I don't know if we have enough time to go down my history, <laughs> but you know, it's interesting. My father was a pastor. So my youth wasn't, I wasn't raised, you know, going to Disney World and SeaWorld. I was, you know, a mission kid, like helping feed the poor in, you know, parts of Turkey and around the world. So I was very fortunate from a really young age to live outside my comfort zone. And at 16, I moved to Brazil to play soccer. 19, I was living in Germany. And so um, I think because of that background, I just was raised with, you know, the, you know, the thought that I could do anything. No, no special reason why, but I give those, those kudos to my, my parents. And so an amazing race came about. It had everything I loved, competition, travel, cultures and uh very fortunate to win that race absolutely 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 love it love it did i mention a heart of pure gold y'all this is huge <laughs> mr alex how did you how did you how does all of your life experiences with a pa pastor for a father how has that helped you in today's life how has that molded you into the man you are today faith Right. I would say as simple as that, you know, I was raised with faith and faith and, and um, you know, I had, I, had a, I had a really strong, you know, Christian upbringing. And and I just think uh, that faith equals a weird fearlessness, and, you know, um, at the same time. So, you know, I just was I, I really, you know, I, I got to give all the credit to my parents. They were the ones who raised four kids and didn't have much money growing up. And they somehow figured out how to, you know, show us the world and show us what truly mattered. And that inspired a life of adventure. And, and it's interesting that I tell stories for a living. I look back, you know, both of my sisters, they're the Boylan sisters who do all the, the faith based films. We all, and my brother's a writer. It's interesting because we grew up, you know, every Sunday watching my dad tell stories. And so uh, there's definitely a lot of parallels, I think, if you kind of break all that down. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. You have, I did some research on you. You have an incredible history and you have an incredible work ethic. I mean, you volunteered. I mean, you have some incredible stories and some of your stories involve you working actually behind the scenes with cameras. Um, you've been in the film industry and producing for a long, long time. And I don't think that gets enough credit. Because you put in the work, sir. You put in the work. Um, <laughs> even driving millions of miles to go work for someone. No job. No, no nothing. Just, hey, I'm here. Put me to work. I can do something. Like, mm -hmm. how did you yeah. where did that work I, ethic come from? Well, I think when I don't know. I don't honestly, I felt like that was innate in me. I, maybe it was. I'm sure there's pieces of my childhood. Once again, growing up without a lot in the sense of material things. I had to work for everything I got. So I had a job start as soon as my parents could sign the paperwork saying you, you're 14 years old, you can work. My parents signed that. So just the nature of our economic circumstances by means, I'm not trying to say I'm, I was some poor kid. I had everything fulfilled in my life, but I didn't, wasn't, there was no extras when I was young. And I think that just gave you, you know, you understood the value of a dollar. And then you also understood, you know, I, I can tell you many stories, but one, my, my parents took us all out of school at one point. We, traveled across Europe um, doing a lot of like mission work. And I remember my parents saying, hey, you have a roof over your head. You're going to get three meals a day. You want a Coca-Cola? You want to buy a souvenir? That's coming out of your own pocket. And that's generally how I was raised. I mean, it was just, you wanted something, you had to go earn it. And so I think that that has, you know, been, been a really good catalyst in my life because I've always, you know, just had to go earn every, you know, I've, I've always had to, you know, kill what I eat for, for a, for a, for a way to say it so and i'm very blessed to have something i'm very passionate about i love telling stories and love different cultures and so when you bring those two together i've always felt like i never worked a day in my life i love what i do and um and so i'm really blessed in that aspect that is a blessing that is a blessing amen amen mr alex boiling up Sir, that's huge i i think that, that that that's not said enough right it's it's you have to work for everything you've earned but you never worked a day in your life because you enjoyed what you do. And that's that's the core of what we are trying to teach our children is like, if you can do what you love, if you can truly do what you love and find that 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 thing, you'll you'll it won't feel like work. You'll never be bogged down. You'll never get tired. You'll never get exhausted. And your work um, is a testament to that, because I, everything I find, everything I find, I don't think you're not smiling. There's no frown. There's no <laughs> nothing. You're always happy go lucky. I want to talk about your new your new interest and your new mission, the college tour. What inspired? Because you could do anything. You have an incredible mind. You could do anything. What is it about the college tour that made you strike out on this mission? It's, it's a great, great story. Uh, I'm a, I created a show based on a real problem that I went through. Uh, so to back up a few years ago, my niece, she's from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. She's at that stage of her high school life where she's starting to look at colleges. And her mother, my sister said, hey, you know, you, you got one trip. And they decided to come stay with me in Los Angeles. And I had, you know, I had a blast taking around all these different schools, thinking back to when I was young and trying to make this important life decision. And during that time, I can remember my niece looks over to me and she's like, Uncle Alex, you know, I want to go look at some schools in Florida and Texas and Boston and all these other places across the country. And very quickly, her mom, my sister is like, what do you think we're made of money? This is it. We probably wouldn't be in Los Angeles if it wasn't for your uncle. Um, this is your trip, Isabel. So you got to figure it out. So after that you know, week or so that we spent together, I started helping Isabel online and just started helping her navigate the space of trying to help figure out the right place for her. And that's as simple as that. That's where the light bulb went off. College and university, it's such an important decision, but it is overwhelming. I personally went through the process. Every school does a great job telling their story, but you could spend days just on one website at one college trying to figure out, you know, is this the right fit or not? And it's really tough to have that, that vibe, that energy, that culture of the campus told on a website. And so that's where, you know, I looked over at my producing partners, Lisa Hennessy, Burton Roberts, and I, I just said, higher education needs its own TV series. And um, obviously it was really needed in the marketplace because it just took off from there. Love it. And it's so true. My, my baby sister, 
recently was going on going off to college and 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 i think that is alarming right you want to give your children the best opportunity to explore um as many campuses as possible but there, it's just not in the budget sometimes it's not in the budget to kind of like well do you go to penn state or do you want to go to california or do you want to go to um a tech you know it, it's it's so overwhelming and you put it in such a perspective and you bring the focus on the college tour and you actually go campus to campus alumni to alumni and you show people what it's all about we have a sneak peek we have a clip that we're going to play for you um you guys check out the incredible work that the college tour is doing in in the world check this out y'all Welcome to The College Tour, a powerful TV series and app reaching millions of young people across the country and around the world. In this series, viewers will travel throughout America to get an inside look into their favorite colleges and universities. From campus life to academics, sports, clubs, activities, and so much more. I chose Florida. Tech because one day I want to be on a mission to Mars. Each episode features real students, faculty, and alumni telling personal and authentic stories about their college or university. At Illinois, being part of a team feels more like being a part of one big family. From Arizona State University in Phoenix, to Fort Lewis College in Durango, Colorado, to Florida Tech on the coastal city of Melbourne, to the University of Illinois in Champaign. Young people can now push play on any TV, computer, or phone and take an incredible journey to learn about what it's like to be a current student on campus. The College Tour, streaming now on a screen near you. Love it, love it, love it. Sir, this is huge. This is big. You take everyone on a tour of each college campus. Sir, what college did you go to? What university did you I go went to? to Jacksonville University in Jacksonville, Florida, and that is going to be episode so fun. I got to go back there and do an episode, which was really special. So season five, episode five will be my alma mater. Woo! That's got to be exciting. That's oh, got to so be cool. excited. They can't wait to have you. I'm sure. I'm sure. Sir, this is huge. That is incredible to see those students, to get that perspective. That's that's the perspective you cannot put a price on. Absolutely, Marcus. You know, one of the things that we have stayed very true to with this show. So for the audience, each episode tells the story of one university. Um, and it's all told through the lens of real current students. And, you know, this is, it's six months to make an episode of the college tour. It's a lot of work by a lot of people, um, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. But one of the things that we stay really true to is when we do decide on, okay, we're going to tell this story at this university, and then we're going to cast this student to tell that story, um, that first draft of their script, we have the student write it because we want it to be authentic. We want it to be in their voice and we want it to be real. And of course, there's many different producers and many people that are going to come together to um, bring that story alive and make TV tweaks throughout it. But that being said, these are real students telling real authentic stories. And I believe and our you know, production believes that is um, the key to the authenticity and the success of this program. Any, 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 inf any information or because. That's that's a great point, because oftentimes when you go to these colleges, you you meet with the faculty and staff and they're going to sell you. They're, I mean, they're going to sell themselves. But to hear live and direct from the students themselves and to allow them the ability to have a voice in this really shines a light on perspective. You know, it, it, it's that that insight that you could get that you typically wouldn't get from a faculty or staff. I mean, you do interview staff, correct? Do you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not. Not as much as you would think. Once in a while, a president or a key faculty member or a key alumni might be in there, depending on the stories that we're telling. To me, 99% of the time, it's real. It's just students uh, that we try to stay focused to. And, you know, if you think about it, you decide to go to X university to do a college tour there, right? An in-person tour. 
a little bit has to do with the personality of the student who's going there mixed in with the personality and culture of the student giving them that tour. And so, you know, a lot of time and energy went for these two worlds to come together. One person, a high schooler, in most cases is going to go and now I want to tour this university. There's a lot of variables that can come along in their, their tour that maybe doesn't give them a full well-rounded experience. And I believe that's what this show does because in a half hour episode, we're telling 10 different stories from very diverse population within the university to try to tell all their stories in order to really get the culture, to get the vibe, to get those intangibles that are really hard to get. We want to show those on screen so we can scale that experience so students can be exposed to all the different amazing universities that we have across this country. Mr. Alex, you've toured many, I've been on the website, you've toured many college campuses. What's the most unique thing you've uncovered when, when on, in all of these campuses you visit? I know it's hard to pick one, but what's <laughs> one unique thing that you found that was like, man, this is unique. No other college is doing this. What's the coolest yeah, thing you think? Yeah, it, it's a, that is a really tough question. That's hard. That's it's a really tough question, but I'm going to do my best to answer it. Here's the thing, and this is the beauty of the show. When, pe when students, you know, people watch it. It's every school is so different, right? There's so many variables that come together. The location, right? The culture, the type of campus. It's impossible to compare Arizona State University with big time athletics and big time everything because of the size of the university to a Fort Lewis college of 1600 students in Durango, Colorado. Neither one's better or worse. They're just different. And then you compare that to like an agriculture school like Delaware Valley University to a tech school like Florida Tech that was built to support NASA down in Melbourne, Florida. I could keep going on and on and on about each university and what makes that university so special and so unique. And so I think that's what we're doing. It's not about, oh, my gosh. And there are, it happens every single campus I go to, I'm wowed by. Right? I mean, it just... I remember being up at UC Davis in Davis, California. That I live in Los Angeles. It's not too far from us. I got on their campus and I just thought I was in another world. It was a beautiful campus town. This arboretum went right through the campus. Downtown Davis is like four blocks by four blocks. Really cool space. And it was, it was a very special experience. But every single university and college is like that. Um, so really what we're trying to do is bring out that uniqueness, bring out those two authentic voices, that culture, those intangibles, hopefully bring them to the screen. So students and parents and counselors and teachers out there, doesn't matter where you live. You can sit back on your mobile device or on your TV set and just tour the country absolutely for free. Love it. Man, this is so necessary. Mr. Alexson, in your opinion, why is it so important to, to, your, to, I'll tell you mine. Why is it so important to choose the right college out the gate? And I guess to say there's no wrong colleges, but why is it so significant to choose that very first college, that very first time and get it correctly? I, I, I personally think because you're going to spend so much money and you're going to, this is your future and you want to get it right. Why do you think it's so important to choose the right college? I, I, I couldn't agree more with that statement. Imagine these four years, in my opinion, I always say this, this isn't a four-year investment and you can't look at it like that. This is a 40-year investment. And I'll speak from my own perspective of going to Jacksonville University. I chose that school. I played soccer. I was an international business major. Those were some of the variables that were interesting. I wanted division one soccer. I wanted international business and I wanted to be in a warm climate, preferably near the beach. Jackson University fit that mold. To this day, those are some of my best friends. To this day, those are my colleagues. We help each other out. Now, on top of it, that location of a campus, I go back there and I feel like it's home. It's like a second home for me to the day I die. And so this is your, there's college and university is this special time. It's this, this transition in your life where not only are you kind, you're, you're on your own, but you're in this protected environment of the university. I tell this to college students all the time, the ones that are going to school. Never in your life, ever again, are you going to have access to so many resources and so many people at your fingertips. The second you get out of college, all of a sudden, you think you're going to go find that lab to play with that new tech or engineering thing you're interested in or go to this computer lab. They don't exist. You're going to have to get a job. But in college, you're, you're basically in this time period to explore 
explore your mind, try new things, meet new people, open yourself up to the world of possibilities, all so that you can find your passion, find your purpose. So hopefully you don't feel like you worked a day in your life as well. And so all that happens during these like, you know, four or five years of your college experience. And so that's why it's so important to try to get it right. Mm. Mic drop, mic drop. I want to, <laughs> I want to give him another mic so he could drop it. That's huge. That's so huge. It's the most 40 year. It's the most important 40 year decision you have ever made and so the college tour helps get that that right get that that figured right and then i think it's worth a look right it's worth a look see to really go there because now you have a very good picture of what campus is like what the atmosphere is like what the vibe is like but now i may want to even take it a step further and i don't feel i don't have that feeling of well I don't have any more money to go see any other campuses because you've toured all of them virtually. And now you can make an educated decision and really, and now say, let's go and see this campus. I really like this campus. Let's see what the dorm is like. Let's see what everything is like. I get, I, that's what I think. It makes Absolutely. Really Marcus, we hear it all the time. We, we are really filling that gap um, between, Hey, I'm interested. And where am I going to, we hear it all the time. Oh, I actually want to, I own my parents or family members, whatever it is. I only get to choose three schools to go visit because we all have financial restraints in our lives. I can now watch the college tour and make a better educated decision on where do I want to spend my time and energy to go actually on campus to go a little bit deeper. Fully agree. Love it. Love it. Love it. Where can the college tour be found? Where are you streaming? That's Absolutely. Try to be streaming on as many places as possible. So the, the college tour.com is a great destination because all the episodes air right out of the gates. Is it you're there? Um, yes. Yeah, so we can find out where to download our app or our streaming channel. We also have a, you know, we have an app, the college tour you can download so you can be up to date with all the episodes. Um, but we're also on, you know, we're on platforms like Amazon and Freebie and Tubi. And so everywhere we're, we're, you know, our goal is to be as many places as possible. So students, the biggest thing for us is that it's available at your fingertips for free. Wait, would you, what'd you just say? You said free? Free. That's a, that's a huge thing for us is, is, you know, we don't want, we don't want students to not be able to watch something or get access to information. We want this available for everyone. So even when you watch Amazon, um, you know, the deal there was like, you don't need an Amazon account. You can just go to Amazon and watch it for free. And every, that's a really important thing in our inside of our business is to make sure that students aren't paying for anything. And that goes for anything on the college tour.com. We've, we've recently within the last uh, few months have come up with actual classes because we heard this from counselors and teachers and parents. It's great. Um, they're watching episodes. Is there any way you can make a class to help us out? And so we have now created classes. They're hundred percent for free. You can find them on the college tour.com. And uh, it's just a service that we are, as you can tell with my energy, and this goes to everyone in our company and Lisa and Burton, the other two executive producers, we have worked on some of the biggest shows in Hollywood and that's been our life, but we have never felt such stewardship and such passion behind a show because of how we're tangibly affecting the next generation of young people and helping guide such an important decision um, to a go to college. You really should. There's a way to get there in every university. There is a way to get to college. Your life will be better for it, uh, but get there. And then hopefully we're, we're a tool in your toolkit to help make that decision easy and as best as possible. Mm. You said the magic word free. The, the gentleman <laughs> style podcast mascot loves the word free, y'all. He loves it. Sir, uh, that's incredible. Free. It doesn't cost you guys a thing absolutely free what are the classes about I, I help 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 break that down what are the classes yeah absolutely about? so um, we, we came out with our first class a, a couple months ago so the first one is how do you and i think and by the way i've been hearing from friends of mine that they're taking the class so they can help start thinking about it for their kids as well and i never this was designed for young people it wasn't designed for parents but we're finding a lot of parents taking the class too so we break down how to start thinking about your college search. And if, if you dive into that world, there's a bazillion data points to think about. And I think that's where a lot of people 
people just get overwhelmed because it's just too much information out of there. So we break the course down to four things and every the, the whole course is video based. So we're taking real segments from the television show into the class. So you're just watching videos the whole time. It's really fun. And we break it down into four sections. As, as you begin your college search, let's talk about location because location is important. Do you want to be close to home? Do you want to be far away from home? Do you want to be in the mountains? Do you want the beach? Do you like the desert? Do you want four seasons? Like what, is, what speaks to you and what are you interested in why? So we break down the location and how, do you want to be downtown of a city? Do you want to be in a more rural, safe area? What are you looking for? Then we go into like the culture on campus because there's different cultures. Um, there's different cultures on campus and, you know, whether it's a, a small Christian school, an HBCU, an, a Hispanic serving institution, what a big state university. Then we go into the type of school. Maybe it's a technical school, maybe. And so we break all those things down and we get feed you videos to watch so you can start getting a sense of, oh, yeah, I like that. I'm interested in that. And then, of course, one of the most important subjects of the class is majors. Right. And I think this is one of the most fun thing. We're actually soon coming out with our own majors class that just focused on that. Because when you're in high school, you're not supposed to have it all figured out. You're not supposed to know exactly what you want to do with your life. So through this majors, there's a section in the main class and soon we're going to have our own class on it. Students can start watching other students. They're, they're, it's their peers, just three or four years ahead of them studying engineering and why they love this and where they're going to take that. And so we're hoping it's going to start shaping the young minds to start just being exposed to I didn't know there was a degree in drone operation. I really love that. Or gaming is starting to take a make a major uh, a major push here at universities. And it doesn't matter. You want to be a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, accountant, whatever it is. We just start feeding these segments in, so you can listen to students just a few years older than you what it's like studying that major and what they're hoping to do with that um, that uh, degree once they graduate. That's big. That's big. Yeah, and you know what's funny, Marcus? It's simple, right? It's kind of yeah. funny. It's the show we all wish we had when we were in high school. And, you know, I am I feel extremely blessed to be one of the people behind this. But at the end of the day, it's really simple. We're I think what we're doing here is we're probably the first time we're getting college students to talk to high school students, right? There's only a few years difference between these and all high school students look up to those, you know, when you're 16, you look up to the 19, 20 year old, but there's a gap just by the basis of I'm in high school and, and now I'm kind of on my own. And I think we're getting these two demographics to speak to one another. So we can, the college students can look look down and be like, hey, it's okay, you're gonna do great. Let me show you what I know a little bit. Come, come learn from what I'm experiencing now. Yeah. Yeah. And it gives you a target. It gives you a focus point. It gives you something to kind of a lot of times, oftentimes parents are are limited, right? They're limited by, hey, you I went to, Nor you know, Norfolk State. You got to go to Norfolk State or I went to, to Texas. Um, college, you got to go like that's kind of it. Other than that, I can't really help you anywhere else. So that is huge. Those classes are huge. Another round of applause from Mr. Alex and his team. <laughs> And what they're doing. Sir, besides the classes, what's next? What do you got in store for us? What's next for you? You know, right now it's it, it's it's we've tried to stay as diversified as possible, filming, you know, around the country. Really, we just have our head down. I mean, it, it took a long time to build the team and let's call it like you know, the factory to be able to produce the amount of episodes that we are are doing right now. So that's really all we're focused on is trying to just stay in our lane. We're storytellers, we're producers at the end of the day keep telling stories. I mean, our goal is to tell the story of every single university in this country. It doesn't matter if you're, um, you know, a top 25 university or a community college, because there's a fit for everyone. And so we have all, you know, that, that equals 4,000 institutions <laughs> across America. So we have our hands full just staying with that. And I think if anything, the classes, our blog is something we're starting to spend a lot more time on, just really grabbing every piece of information that we can deliver that for free to this next generation and hopefully inspire them to go on to get a higher education and, and just live as epic as life as they can. Love it. Huge. Miss, any potential in the future to start maybe exploring colleges outside the United States, maybe? Is that an option down the road? Cause you've traveled, you've worked for uh, the Discovery <laughs> Channel. You, you've been in the drone, Africa, colleges oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it's obvious, it's been, we're obviously are talking about it. Our main focus be just because the United States is so big and there are so many international students that come here to study. That's been our main focus. 
Although one is deaf, we're, we're in talks already with an international university, which might be our first, you know, interna international school outside of our borders. So we're definitely open to it. I mean, at the end of the day, we're just trying to listen to what you all want <laughs> and we'll go off and go produce it. And so uh, for sure, I think we'll be international uh, here in the next year or so. Love it. Love it. Mr. Alex, how can people connect? How can we grow? How can we learn more about what you're doing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, thecollegetour.com, that's our hub. Every You can find all the information, where we air, how to find us, connect with us, write in, you have questions. I mean, we get emails, how a lot of the things, these classes and, and what's been developed, addition to the television series, is inspiration from audiences like this. It's, it's really, it's like we hear teachers and counselors and parents every single day. And we just know that we are reading them, we are listening to them, and we will design stuff to make sure that it's helping you and your young and the young people try to figure out their higher education journey. So yeah, please connect with us there and um, love to hear any kind of feedback they have. I told you guys, I told you guys, this is why I was excited for this interview. This is necessary. What Mr. Alex and his team are doing is absolutely necessary, right? I, I He said it earlier. He said, he's like, I wish this was available for me. I, I, I wish it was available for a lot of people to make an educated decision on what college you want to go to and what where do you want to go? Where do you want to invest in that next 40 years of your life? And who's best suited to help you get there? Mr. Alex, thank you for being here. This uh, is my phenomenal. pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And thank you all, my audience, for joining the Gentleman Style Podcast Show. I hope this was helpful. It was helpful to me, for sure, for sure. This has been impactful. I hope you guys connect connect with Mr. Alex. Let's put this back on a big screen. The College Tour, for my audio listeners, The College Tour, www.thecollegetour.com. Get connected today. Check it out. It's on Amazon Prime, Roku, Tubi, everywhere that you probably can stream. It's probably there check him out and it's all free well like i always end every show we gotta let mr mr alex go he has many more episodes to film and filming is what he does so thank you all for being here like i end every show take care of your friends take care of your family and always always take care of business this is marcus norman your favorite gentleman and alex the man the myth the legend Olin, signing off love you guys Bye. Okay, bye.